Fabaceae, Wikipedia Audio The Fabaceae or Leguminosae, commonly known as the legume, pea, or bean family, is a large and economically important family of flowering plants. It includes trees, shrubs, and perennial or annual herbaceous plants, which are easily recognized by their fruit and their compound, stipulated leaves. Many legumes have characteristics of flowers and fruits. The family is widely distributed, and is the third largest land plant family in terms of number of species, behind only the Orchidaceae and Asteraceae, with about 751 genera and some 19,000 known species. The five largest of the genera are Astragalus, Acacia, Indigofera, Crotillaria, and Mimosa, which constitute about a quarter of all legume species. The CA 19,000 known legume species amount to about 7% of flowering plant species. Fabaceae is the most common family found in tropical rainforests and in dry forests in the Americas and Africa. Recent molecular and morphological evidence supports the fact that the Fabaceae is a single monophyletic family. This point of view has been supported not only by the degree of interrelation shown by different groups within the family compared with that found among the leguminosae and their closest relations, but also by all the recent phylogenetic studies based on DNA sequences. These studies confirm that the Fabaceae are a monophyletic group that is closely related to the Polygalaceae, Surianaceae, and Quilogaceae families and that they belong to the order Fabulaceae. Along with the cereals, some fruits, and tropical roots, a number of leguminosae have been a staple human food for millennia and their use is closely related to human evolution. Etymology the Fabaceae family includes a number of important agricultural and food plants, including Glycin max, Phaseolus, Pisum sativum, Cicer arietinum, Medicago sativa, Aricus hypogea, Serotonia siliqua, and Glyceriza glabra. A number of species are also weedy pests in different parts of the world, including Cetesis scoparius, Robinia pseudoacacia, Ulex europaeus, Pure aria lobata, and a number of Lupinus species. The name Fabaceae comes from the defunct genus Faba, now included in Vesia. The term Faba comes from Latin, and appears to simply mean bean. Leguminosae is an older name still considered valid, and refers to the fruit of these plants, which are called legumes. Circidoidea, 12 genera and 335 species. Mainly tropical. Bauhenia, Circus, Deterioidae, 84 genera and 760 species. Mainly tropical. Omherstia, Deuterium, Tamarindus, Deparctioidae, 1 genus and 1 species. West and Central Africa. Duparxia, Dialioidae, 17 genera and 85 species. Widespread throughout the tropics. Dialium, Cesalpinioidae, 148 genera and 4400 species. Pantropical. Cesalpinia, Senna, Mimosa, Acacia. Includes the former subfamily Mimosoidae. Fabwadia, 503 genera and 14,000 species. Cosmopolitan. Astragalus, Lupinus, Pisum. Fabaceae range inhabit from giant trees to small annual herbs, with the majority being herbaceous perennials. Plants have indeterminate inflorescences which are sometimes reduced to a single flower. The flowers have a short hypanthium and a single carpel with a short genophore, and after fertilization produce fruits that are legumes. 
the leguminosae have a wide variety of growth forms including trees, shrubs, or herbaceous plants or even vines or lianas. The herbaceous plants can be annuals, biennials, or perennials, without basal or terminal leaf aggregations. Many legumes have tendrils. They are upright plants, epiphytes, or vines. The latter support themselves by means of shoots that twist around a support or through colon or foliar tendrils. Plants can be heliophytes, mesophytes, or xerophytes. The leaves are usually alternate and compound. Most often they are even or odd pinnately compound often trifoliate and rarely palmately compound, in the Mimosoidae and the Cezalpinioidae commonly bipinnate. They always have stipules, which can be leaf-like, thorn-like, or be rather inconspicuous. Leaf margins are entire or, occasionally, serrate. Both the leaves and the leaflets often have wrinkled pulvini to permit nastic movements. In some species, leaflets have evolved into tendrils. Many species have leaves with structures that attract ants that protect the plant from herbivore insects. Extrafloral nectaries are common among the Mimosoidae and the Cezalpinioidae, and are also found in some Fabwatia. In some acacia, the modified hollow stipules are inhabited by ants and are known as Dimatia. Many Fabaceae host bacteria in their roots within structures called root nodules. These bacteria, known as rhizobia, have the ability to take nitrogen gas out of the air and convert it to a form of nitrogen that is usable to the host plant. This process is called nitrogen fixation. The legume, acting as a host, and rhizobia, acting as a provider of usable nitrate, form a symbiotic relationship. Subfamily Cezalpinioidae, Bauhenia forficata, Cezalpinia gilesii, Cezalpinia spinosa, Ceratonia siliqua, Cersus siliquastrum, Gledetsia triacanthos, Gymnocladus dioica, Parkinsonia aculeata, Senamulta glandulosa, Subfamily Mimosoidae, Acacia cavan, Acacia cultriformis, Acacia dilbata, Acacia caru, Acacia longifolia, Acacia melanozylon, Acacia paradoxa, Acacia redenodes, Acacia saligna, Acacia verticillata, Acacia visco, Albizia julabrisson, Caliandra tweedii, Parazurianthes, Lophantha. Prosopi chilensis, subfamily Fabwatia, Cleanthus punicers, Cytesis scoparius, Erythrina cristigali, Erythrina falcata, Laburnum anagyroides, Lotus peleorhynchus, Lupinus arboreus, Lupinus polyphyllus, Autolobium glandulosum, Raytama monosperma, Robinia hispida, Robinia luxaeans, Robinia pseudoacacia, Sephora japonica, Sephora macnabiana, Sephora macrocarpa, Spartium juncerum, Telinemon speciulina, Tipuana tipu, Wisteria sinensis. The flowers often have five generally fused sepals and five free petals. They are generally hermaphrodite, and have a short hypanthium, usually cup shaped. There are normally ten stamens and one elongated superior ovary, with a curved style. They are usually arranged in indeterminate inflorescences. Fabaceae are typically entomophilous plants, and the flowers are usually showy to attract pollinators. In the Cezalpinioidae, the flowers are often zygomorphic, as in Circus or nearly symmetrical with five equal petals in Bauhenia. The upper petal is the innermost one, unlike in the Fabwatia. Some species, like some in the genus Senna, have asymmetric flowers, 
with one of the lower petals larger than the opposing one, and the style bent to one side. The calyx, corolla, or stamens can be showy in this group. Description In the Mimosoidae, the flowers are actinomorphic and arranged in globose inflorescences. The petals are small and the stamens, which can be more than just ten, have long, colored filaments, which are the showiest part of the flower. All of the flowers in an inflorescence open at once. In the Fabwadia, the flowers are zygomorphic, and have a specialized structure. The upper petal, called the banner or standard, is large and envelopes the rest of the petals in bud, often reflexing when the flower blooms. The two adjacent petals, the wings, surround the two bottom petals. The two bottom petals are fused together at the apex, forming a boat-like structure called the keel. The stamens are always ten in number, and their filaments can be fused in various configurations, often in a group of nine stamens plus one separate stamen. Various genes in the cycloidea slash dichotoma family are expressed in the upper petal, in some species, such as cadia. These genes are expressed throughout the flower, producing a radially symmetrical flower. The ovary most typically develops into a legume. A legume is a simple dry fruit that usually dehisces on two sides. A common name for this type of fruit is a pod, although that can also be applied to a few other fruit types. A few species have evolved samari, lomans, follicles, indehiscent legumes, achenes, droops, and berries from the basic legume fruit. The leguminosae are rarely cyanogenic, however, where they are, the cyanogenic compounds are derived from tyrosine, phenylalanine, or leucine. They frequently contain alkaloids. Pronthocyanidins can be present either as cyanidin or delphinidine or both at the same time. Flavonoids such as comphorol, quercetin, and myricetin are often present. Ellogic acid has never been found in any of the genera or species analyzed. Sugars are transported within the plants in the form of sucrose. C3 photosynthesis has been found in a wide variety of genera. The family has also evolved a unique chemistry. Many legumes contain toxic and indigestible substances which may be removed through various processing methods. Pterocarpans are a class of molecules found only in the Fabaceae. The Fabaceae have an essentially worldwide distribution, being found everywhere except Antarctica and the High Arctic. The trees are often found in tropical regions, while the herbaceous plants and shrubs are predominant outside the tropics. Biological nitrogen fixation is a very old process that probably originated in the Archean Aeon when the primitive atmosphere lacked oxygen. It is only carried out by Euryarchaeata and just six of the more than 50 phyla of bacteria. Some of these lineages CO evolved together with the flowering plants establishing the molecular basis of a mutually beneficial symbiotic relationship. BNF is carried out in nodules that are mainly located in the root cortex, although they are occasionally located in the stem as in Cesbania ristrata. The spermatophytes that CO evolved with actinorhizal diazotrophs or with rhizobia to establish their symbiotic relationship belong to 11 families contained within the Rosidae clade. This grouping indicates that the predisposition for forming nodules probably only arose once in flowering plants and that it can be considered as an ancestral characteristic that has been conserved or lost in certain lineages. However, such a wide distribution of families and genera within this lineage indicates that nodulation had multiple origins. Of the ten families within the Rosidae, eight have nodules formed by actinomyces, 
and the two remaining families, Ulmaci and Fabaci, have nodules formed by rhizobia. The rhizobia and their hosts must be able to recognize each other for nodule formation to commence. Rhizobia are specific to particular host species although a rhizobia species may often infect more than one host species. This means that one plant species may be infected by more than one species of bacteria. For example, nodules in Acacia Senegal can contain seven species of rhizobia belonging to three different genera. The most distinctive characteristics that allow rhizobia to be distinguished apart are the rapidity of their growth and the type of root nodule that they form with their host. Root nodules can be classified as being either indeterminate, cylindrical and often branched, and determinate, spherical with prominent lenticels. Indeterminate nodules are characteristic of legumes from temperate climates while determinate nodules are commonly found in species from tropical or subtropical climates. Growth Habit Leaves Nodule formation is common throughout the leguminosae, it is found in the majority of its members that only form an association with rhizobia, which in turn form an exclusive symbiosis with the leguminosae. Nodule formation is present in all the leguminosae subfamilies, although it is less common in the Cezalpinioidae. All types of nodule formation are present in the subfamily Papilionoidea, indeterminate, determinate, and the type included in Eschenamine. The latter two are thought to be the most modern and specialized type of nodule as they are only present in some lines of the Papilionoidea subfamily. Even though nodule formation is common in the two monophyletic subfamilies Papilionoidea and Mimosoidae they also contain species that do not form nodules. The presence or absence of nodule forming species within the three subfamilies indicates that nodule formation has arisen several times during the evolution of the leguminosae and that this ability has been lost in some lineages. For example, Within the genus Acacia, a member of the Mimosoidae, A. pentagona does not form nodules, while other species of the same genus readily form nodules, as is the case for Acacia senegal, which forms both rapidly and slow-growing rhizobial nodules. Roots Flowers Fruit Physiology and Biochemistry Ecology A large number of species within many genera of leguminous plants, e.g. Astragalus, Coronilla, Hippocrepes, Indigofera, Lotus, Securidra, and Scorpiurus, produce chemicals that derive from the compound 3-nitropropanoic acid. The free acid 3-NPA is an irreversible inhibitor of mitochondrial respiration, and thus the compound inhibits the tricarboxylic acid cycle. This inhibition caused by 3-NPA is especially toxic to nerve cells and represents a very general toxic mechanism suggesting a profound ecological importance due to the big number of species producing this compound and its derivatives. A second and closely related class of secondary metabolites that occur in many species of leguminous plants is defined by isoxazolin 5 1 derivatives. These compounds occur in particular together with 3 NPA and related derivatives at the same time in the same species, as found in Astragalus canadensis and Astragalus colinus. 3-NPA and isoxazolin 5-1 derivatives also occur in many species of leaf beetles. The order Fabulase contains around 7.3% of Uticot species and the greatest part of this diversity is contained in just one of the four families that the order contains, Fabaceae. This clade also includes the Polygalaceae, Surianaceae, and Quilajaceae families and its origins date back 94 to 89 million years, 
although it started its diversification some 79 to 74 million years ago. In fact, the Fabaceae have diversified during the early tertiary to become a ubiquitous part of the modern Earth's biota, along with many other families belonging to the flowering plants. The Fabaceae have an abundant and diverse fossil record, especially for the tertiary period. Fossils of flowers, fruit, leaves, wood and pollen from this period have been found in numerous locations. The earliest fossils that can be definitively assigned to the Fabaceae appeared in the late Polyeocene. Representatives of the three subfamilies traditionally recognized as being members of the Fabaceae sees Alpinioidae, Papilionoidea, and Mimosoidae as well as members of the large clades within these subfamilies such as the Genisticoides have been found in periods a little later, starting between 55 and 50 million years ago. In fact, a wide variety of taxa representing the main lineages in the Fabaceae have been found in the fossil record dating from the middle to the late Eocene, suggesting that the majority of the modern Fabaceae groups were already present and that a broad diversification occurred during this period. Therefore, the Fabaceae started their diversification approximately 60 million years ago and the most important clades separated some 50 million years ago. The age of the main seas Alpinioidae clades have been estimated as between 56 and 34 million years and the basal group of the Mimosoidae as 44 plus or minus 2.6 million years. The division between Mimosoidae and Fabwadea is dated as occurring between 59 and 34 million years ago and the basal group of the Fabwadea as 58.6 plus or minus 0.2 million years ago. It has been possible to date the divergence of some of the groups within the Fabwadea, even though diversification within each genus was relatively recent. For instance, Astragalus separated from the Oxytropes some 16 to 12 million years ago. In addition, the separation of the aneuploid species of Neoastragalus started 4 million years ago. Inga Another genus of the Papilionoidea with approximately 350 species, seems to have diverged in the last 2 million years. Distribution and Habitat It has been suggested, based on fossil and phylogenetic evidence, that legumes originally evolved in arid and slash or semi-arid regions along the Tethys Seaway during the Paleogene period. However, Others contend that Africa cannot yet be ruled out as the origin of the family. The current hypothesis about the evolution of the genes needed for nodulation is that they were recruited from other pathways after a polyploidy event. Several different pathways have been implicated as donating duplicated genes to the pathway's need for nodulation. The main donors to the pathway were the genes associated with the arbuscular mycorrhiza symbiosis genes, the pollen tube formation genes and the hemoglobin genes. One of the main genes shown to be shared between the arbuscular mycorrhiza pathway and the nodulation pathway is SYMRK and it is involved in the plant bacterial recognition. The pollen tube growth is similar to the infection thread development in that infection threads grow in a polar manner that is similar to a pollen tube's polar growth towards the ovules. Both pathways include the same type of enzymes, pectin-degrading cell wall enzymes. The enzymes needed to reduce nitrogen, nitrogenases, require a substantial input of ADP but at the same time are sensitive to free oxygen. To meet the requirements of this paradoxical situation, the plants express a type of hemoglobin called leg hemoglobin that is believed to be recruited after a duplication event. These three genetic pathways are believed to be part of a gene duplication event then recruited to work in nodulation. The phylogeny of the legumes has been the object of many studies by research groups from around the world. 
These studies have used morphology, DNA data, and cladistic analysis in order to investigate the relationships between the family's different lineages. Fabaceae is consistently recovered as monophyletic. The studies further confirmed that the traditional subfamilies Mimosoidae and Papilionoidae were each monophyletic but both were nested within the paraphyletic subfamily Cesalpinioidae. All the different approaches yielded similar results regarding the relationships between the family's main clades. Following extensive discussion in the legume phylogenetics community, the legume phylogeny working group reclassified Fabaceae into six subfamilies, which necessitated the segregation of four new subfamilies from Cesalpinioidae and merging Cesalpinioidae sensa stricto with the former subfamily Mimosoidae. Polygalaceae Surianaceae Quilogaceae Circidoidea Biological nitrogen fixation Deterioidae Duparctioidae Chemical ecology Dialioidae Cesalpinioidae Evolution, phylogeny, and taxonomy Evolution Phylogeny and taxonomy Fabwadia the Fabaceae are placed in the order Fabales according to most taxonomic systems, including the APG3 system. The family now includes six subfamilies. Legumes are economically and culturally important plants due to their extraordinary diversity and abundance, the wide variety of edible vegetables they represent and due to the variety of uses they can be put to, in horticulture and agriculture as a food, for the compounds they contain that have medicinal uses and for the oil and fats they contain that have a variety of uses. The history of legumes is tied in closely with that of human civilization, appearing early in Asia, the Americas, and Europe by 6000 BCE, where they became a staple, essential as a source of protein. Their ability to fix atmospheric nitrogen reduces fertilizer costs for farmers and gardeners who grow legumes, and means that legumes can be used in a crop rotation to replenish soil that has been depleted of nitrogen. Legume seeds and foliage have a comparatively higher protein content than non-legume materials, due to the additional nitrogen that legumes receive through the process. Legumes are commonly used as natural fertilizers. Some legume species perform hydraulic lift, which makes them ideal for intercropping. Farmed legumes can belong to numerous classes, including forage, grain, blooms, pharmaceutical-industrial, fallow-green manure and timber species with most commercially farmed species filling two or more roles simultaneously. There are of two broad types of forage legumes. Some, like alfalfa, clover, veg, and ericus, are sown in pasture and grazed by livestock. Other forage legumes such as lucina or albizia are woody shrub or tree species that are either broken down by livestock or regularly cut by humans to provide stock feed. Grain legumes are cultivated for their seeds, and are also called pulses. The seeds are used for human and animal consumption or for the production of oils for industrial uses. Grain legumes include both herbaceous plants like beans, lentils, lupins, peas, and peanuts. And trees such as carob, mesquite, and tamarind. Bloom legume species include species such as lupin, which are farmed commercially for their blooms as well as being popular in gardens worldwide. Laburnum, Robinia, Gledizia, Acacia, Mimosa, and Elonyx are ornamental trees and shrubs. Industrial farmed legumes include Indigofera, cultivated for the production of indigo, 
acacia, for gum arabic, and deris, for the insecticide action of rotenone, a compound it produces. Fallow or green manure legume species are cultivated to be tilled back into the soil to exploit the high nitrogen levels found in most legumes. Numerous legumes are farmed for this purpose, including Lucana, Siamopsis, and Sesbania. Various legume species are farmed for timber production worldwide, including numerous Acacia species, Dalbergia species, and Castanospermum austral. Melliferous plants offer nectar to bees and other insects to encourage them to carry pollen from the flowers of one plant to others thereby ensuring pollination. A number of legume species are good nectar providers such as alfalfa, white clover, sweet clover, and various prosopy species. Many plants in the Fabaceae family are an important source of pollen for the bumblebee species Bombus hortorum. This bee species is especially fond of one species in particular, Trifolium prutense, also known as red clover, is a popular food source in the diet of Bombus hortorum. Natural gums are vegetable exudates that are released as the result of damage to the plant such as that resulting from the attack of an insect or a natural or artificial cut. These exudates contain heterogeneous polysaccharides formed of different sugars and usually containing uronic acids. They form viscous colloidal solutions. There are different species that produce gums. The most important of these species belong to the leguminosae. They are widely used in the pharmaceutical, cosmetic, food and textile sectors. They also have interesting therapeutic properties, for example gum arabic is antitussive and anti-inflammatory. The most well-known gums are tragacanth, gum arabic and gur gum. The species used to produce dyes include the following, logwood hematoxylin campechinum, a large spiny tree that can grow up to 15 m tall. Its cork is thin and soft and its wood is hard. The heartwood is used to produce dyes that are red and purple. The histological stain called hematoxylin is produced from this species. Brazil wood tree is similar to the previous tree but smaller and with red or purple flowers. The wood is also used to produce a red or purple dye. The madras thorn is another spiny tree native to Latin America. It grows up to 4 m high and has yellow or green flowers that grow in florets. Its fruit is reddish and is used to produce a yellow dye. Indigo dye is extracted from the true indigo plant Indigo tincture toria that is native to Asia. In Central and South America dyes are produced from two species related to this species. Indigo from Indigofera suffruticosa and natal indigo from Indigofera erecta. Yellow dye is extracted from Butea monosperma, commonly called as flame of the forest. Legumes have been used as ornamental plants throughout the world for many centuries. Their vast diversity of heights, shapes, Foliage and flower color means that this family is commonly used in the design and planting of everything from small gardens to large parks. The following is a list of the main ornamental legume species, listed by subfamily. Acacia baleana Lomensivalizacarpus vaginalis Caliandra emarginata Desmodium gangeticum Dichrystochis cinerea sickle bush Indigofera girardiana Tendrils of Lathyrus odoratus Inflorescence of Lupinus arboreus Pisum sativum, note the leaf-like stipules Smithia conferta Trifolium ripens in Kulua district of Himachal Pradesh, India Kashubian vetch Kashubia Zornia gibosa Phylogeny Taxonomy
Economic and Cultural Importance Food and Forage Industrial Uses Natural Gums Dyes Ornamentals Emblematic Leguminosi Image Gallery